about to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Hello and welcome to a step-by-step -step guide on how to make a simple spaghetti bolognese Now just a disclaimer, this is how I make it and I know a lot of people either know how to make it or make it in their own way but this is the way that I've always done it if you don't already follow this channel I have three sons and my eldest son is 14 and he's recently taken an interest in cooking I thought it'd be a really good idea to teach him some basic meals and I thought how could I simplify things that it'll be easy for him to follow easy for him to shop for the ingredients and also not be too long and boring so I've made it as short as possible and as simple as possible so if my four 14 year old boy can follow it then you can too. I'll leave all the ingredients listed down below as well just in case you miss them as I'm talking through it so let's get into the video. We are going to be using 500 grams of lean beef mince, two garlic cloves I have peeled and chopped, one large chopped brown onion, salt and pepper for seasoning, some Worcestershire sauce, a tin of plum tomatoes, some dried basil, some tomato puree and one beef stock pot. So I'm just going to spray a little bit of rapeseed oil in my pan and then I'm going to add my chopped onions to this and let them cook for around 5 minutes until they've just started to soften and go a little bit brown. After 5 minutes I'm going to add in my garlic and then give it another couple of minutes before I'm going to pop in my mince. I'm now going to add my mince into my pan. If you wanted to make this more economical and use a fattier cut of meat you could use a separate frying pan. Fry your mince first and then drain the fat and then follow the steps from now on just adding your already cooked and drained meat into the pan of onions and garlic. We are now going to leave this to brown for at least 20 minutes. Now as you can see there is some liquid gathering, this is perfect and what we want to do is cook this mince now until that water all disappears and you start to get a colour and a bit of a crisp onto your mince. So you want to take it far enough that it starts to turn brown, but obviously not too far that it starts to burn. So just a slight colouring and crispiness to your beef and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. So now your water has evaporated and your mince has started to go brown, we're going to add half a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Next we are going to go in with two large tablespoons of tomato puree, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce and then one teaspoon of the dried basil. So now you're going to want to add in your tin of plum tomatoes, I always buy whole plum tomatoes. When you buy chopped tomatoes, 9 times out of 10, all it is is the ends of these whole tomatoes that haven't been used in these tins and they're popped into a tin of chopped tomatoes. So if you do want the better quality, always go for whole plum tomatoes. And what I'm going to do is also rinse out the tomato tin and add a full tin of water and then we are just going to let the tomatoes break down themselves. You can chop them with a spoon a little bit, but by the time you finish simmering this, they will all have melted away into the sauce. So now we are just going to pop in your beef stock pot and what I call the most important but optional ingredient of a teaspoon of sugar. Now don't forget, this is going to serve at least four people, so one teaspoon of sugar between the four of you is obviously not very much. I think it makes a huge difference. It takes away the acidity of the tomatoes and it just adds a real depth of flavour but like I said you can leave it out if you want to but I really recommend you just add one single teaspoon of sugar to your dish and now for what I would call the second most important step you are going to need to leave this to simmer for at least 40 minutes an hour would be better if you've got the time that way all the liquid is going to evaporate all the flavours are going to intensify and it really makes such a difference if you try and rush this step you will not be left with a really deep rich flavour that you'll get if you do take your time to simmer it so at least 40 minutes but an hour if possible and you'll be left with a really thick delicious sauce all that's left to do now is cook your pasta you can use whatever you like we're using traditional spaghetti for this dish and just let it cook according to the instructions on the packet and once this is boiled and drained you are ready to serve so you can use parmesan cheese if you like to top this dish we've just used some strong cheddar because that's what we like so there you have it, a simple and tasty foolproof recipe for spaghetti bolognese. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you'd enjoyed it. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button for many more food videos. 
shopping hauls, recipes, family vlogs and things like that. And I will be back very soon in our next video. This is what we waited for.